Hello, this is Rupinder Syal and welcome again to Spartan Tutorials. Now, as we have seen, COVID-19 keeps evolving and keeps coming up with new variants, with new mutations. Some of these mutations are really deadly for humans as they allow it to escape immune system as well as neutralizing antibodies. One of the new variants that has come up and has been detected in South America, in Peru, is the Lambda variant and the WHO has recently termed it as the C37 variant and it is a currently a variant of interest but we don't know whether it may become variant of concern okay so what is this variant and what do we know about it let's discuss it today now as i said the lineage for lambda variant is c37 and this is the geographical location where this variant has been detected yet. First, it was identified in Peru in August of 2020. And this is all due to genomic sequencing of COVID-19 samples. I think this is the first disease throughout the world where we have extensively tracked the virus mutations in real time through genomic sequencing. So from its first detection in Peru, it has spread almost to entire South America. This is pretty fast for a virus to spread and you can see it has spread to whole of North America and many countries of Africa, Europe and Asia and even in Australia. So this tells us a lot about how global movement of people as well as goods, you know, allows the virus to basically hitchhike itself on these routes and spread globally. Now, as we have seen in the case of other variants, for example, B117, which is the alpha variant, B1351, delta variants and the other variants. So different types of mutations are found in the genome of coronavirus. So this, these are the different genes, ORF1, A, 1B. This is the notorious spike protein where all of the major important mutations are clustered because these allow it to escape immune system and this is the main entry point for the virus because this allows it to interact with the ACE2 receptor, the angiotensin converting enzyme 2 receptor, which is present in lung cells as well as the cells of other tissues. So this is the major focal point for development of drugs as well as different neutralizing antibodies. But anyhow, the overall mutational profile of C37 lineage, which is the Lambda variant is quite unique. If we look at the different mutations present in this lineage. This is the C37 right here. And these are the other variants. And the level of purple color here shows you how common it is, how common a particular mutation is in comparison to other lineages. You will see some mutations, for example, this D641G, which is aspartate 614 converting to glycine so aspartate 614 to glycine mutation this is found in common with all the other lineages so probably this is the result of either recombination or picking up of mutations between different lineages but if we look at other mutations there are many different mutations which are solely found in c37 l18f for example d138y G75V, G75V is actually present in the spike protein. So these are some pretty unique mutations that are only found in C37 lineage. So what is the effect of these mutations on the efficacy of vaccines as well as effect on other drugs, for example, antibody cocktails or other neutralizing antibodies or other drugs that are in the pipeline for the pharma companies. We don't know yet for the studies are needed and even the extent of this lineage is still becoming clearer day by day with more and more genomic sequences being available. So just to summarize what we know yet about Lambda variant, it was first detected in Peru in August 2020. And as we have seen, it has geographically spread almost throughout the world not yet in India and many other parts of Asia, for example, in China, where there are more than 2 billion people combined in India and China. So that's a good thing. It has not spread to 29 countries overall. It is still a variant of interest according to WHO. It is not yet a variant of concern. So there is no reason to panic about this variant yet, but more and more surveillance definitely is needed. The spike mutations present in this Lambda variant are G75V, 
T76I, there is a deletion, L452Q, so this is leucine at the 452 position, leucine is an amino acid, changing to glutamine, this is a pretty drastic change because this is changing from a non-polar water hating amino acid to a pretty polar but uncharged amino acid. F490S, this is phenylalanine, it is an aromatic amino acid, so it contains a cyclic ring basically and it has been changed to serine, which is a polar uncharged amino acid just like glutamine. We have D614G also, so we have aspartic acid changing to glycine, this is also a very drastic change of amino acid. And finally, threonine to asparagine. So what are the effects of these mutations on the interaction of spike proteins with other human proteins, especially the ACE2 receptor, which is the angiotensin converting enzyme 2 receptor? We don't know yet. It's further biophysical studies as well as molecular docking studies and conformational studies are needed to characterize this mutant in more detail. And the mutation, according to many scientists, may show increased transmission, which is already pretty you know, evident based on its sudden spread in just a few months. And it may even show resistance to antibodies. So antibody cocktails, for example, the one made by Roche, uh, the Del Delta Plus variant is already resistant to it. And the Lambda variant is also likely to show resistance to many antibodies. So this is a cause of concern. So we should step up our vaccination campaigns and make sure we reach the threshold of herd immunity as soon as possible so that these deadly variants do not evolve and do not spread into the populations. So that was my discussion of the Lambda variant. As more information comes in, I'll make an update video about the information that is coming in. As you know, this information is continuously being refreshed every day. We are getting new details about the biophysical mechanisms as well as its effects every day. So I'll make an update video on Lambda variant when we have more information. Till then, stay safe. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.